I think uh, that monetary policy should be the last line of defense for financial stability. Uh, not the first line, uh, since there are other more effective policy instruments for financial stability. The policy rates and monetary policy is not very good at uh, keeping down housing prices or affecting household debt. Other instruments are much better. But if we are in a situation when regulation and supervision is very bad, uh, one may have to rely somewhat on monetary policy, but uh, that is not the situation in Sweden today. There are sufficiently many instruments uh, that are very effective for affecting financial stability, so one doesn't need to use monetary policy. Uh, there is a lot of research uh, of different kinds, theoretical and empirical, uh, with data from many countries, which examines the effect of monetary policy and the policy rate on housing prices and household debt. And the fact is that uh, uh, the policy rate has a very small effect on, on housing uh, debt and housing prices, but it has a substantial effect on uh, uh, inflation, uh, GDP and unemployment. So if you want to use monetary policy to reduce housing prices, you will actually suffer great uh, GDP losses and you will suffer a much higher unemployment. So uh, this policy rate is actually a very inefficient instrument for doing that. If you, if you want to affect the household debt and, uh, and housing prices, there are a number of available instruments. Uh, uh, for instance, a loan to value cap is being used in Sweden. And according to uh, uh, Finansinspektionen, the FSA, it seems to be effective. And, and, uh, for the first time in many years, uh, the loan-to-value ratio is falling for, for, for new mortgages. There is, it is also possible to, to increase property taxes or, or wealth taxes. Uh, uh, the interest uh, uh, deductibility of mortgage rates uh, could be reduced uh, for taxes. And there are other things one can do which would be quite effective to, 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 to influence uh, household debt and uh, housing prices if one wants to do that.